Hey guys, and welcome to another episode from Rat Attack Gaming. We are going to be talking about the new game Arena Breakout Infinity. This is the game that just came out. We are going to be showing some of our first looks here and some of the gameplay that we got going on here. Just going to say this game is absolutely incredible. It looks amazing and plays amazing. The FPS in this game, as you're seeing on our first looks here, it's just a little off the screen there, but as I was even uh, playing in 4K, recording in 4K, and live streaming it, I was still getting 70 to 100 FPS, even sometimes over 100. So just absolutely incredible optimization, something that Tarkov seems to lack really bad. Um, some things to talk about, guys. Uh, Tarkov is accusing them of stealing uh, their code. I went through some of the pictures and things that they've posted. One thing for sure is I don't understand what they're talking about. For one, uh, Tarkov's made in Unity. This game is made in Unreal Engine 4. So even if they did steal the coding, it would be a jumbled mess for them. They would have to go through, recode it for Unreal Engine 4, figure out all the mistakes that Nikita has made with his team, which are tons, fix the mistakes, and then recode it into their engine. So even if they were stealing the code, let's say, they changed plenty of it to make it where it's definitely not Tarkov's anymore. Um, I, I know that that's a big thing everybody keeps talking about. There's lots of people showing pictures and proof of this and saying that they know somebody's dad and know somebody who works here and there. And it's just, honestly, it's just all hoobla. And I don't think anything's going to come of it, guys. This, um, another thing to talk about is people stating that this game is a mobile port. And I can tell you from playing the mobile version for many, many hours and playing the PC version that this is not a port over. You can definitely tell that they have made this from ground up an Unreal Engine 4, obviously using probably some of the animations or some of the small things, I think, from the mobile version. Um, or maybe even just, just replicating those, to be honest. I don't know about even using them. Um, so I, I, I think that's honestly kind of out the window. Obviously, everybody has their theories about what's going on, what they're doing, what kind of code they're stealing. Um, I saw that, you know, they were showing Arena had like code that was called Killa underscore this and that uh, next to it. I understand that. I get that. You know, I honestly think they're trolling Tarkov because that's all they've done since this game came out is troll Tarkov online. They've been talking about them saying that their game's free versus $250. They're loving trolling Tarkov. So I think that that is another way for them to troll Tarkov by putting Killa's name in some of their coding on purpose. Anyways, enough of that hoopla, guys. Let's talk about a little bit of the gunplay here. As you can see, we are getting into a gunfight finally for the uh, first time here. Uh, I'm using the SKS, which is something I really enjoy, just even in Tarkov and most other games. Just a gun I really enjoy. Um... That guy wouldn't stop peeking the tree like an idiot, so he got headshot pretty quick. I kind of felt bad for him, but you know, gear's gear in the end. <clears throat> and don't really know too much about this map myself. This map is called the uh, Valley, and this is the first looks I was getting on the map. I haven't played much of this even on the mobile version. I always stuck to the smaller map, the farm, just because I was playing on a phone and it was hard uh, to play big giant maps like this on a phone for 20 and 30 minutes straight. But with that said, I could still sit there and play this game on my phone for 20 or 30 straight minutes and really enjoy it, which is why I knew that they had to bring it to PC. I was begging these guys to bring this game to PC with so many other people. And I think now that the game is here, they did an absolutely amazing job. I mean, think of all the things that are wrong with Tarkov and all the things that they're not ever probably going to fix. Well, those aren't a problem in this game at all, because they fix those problems. <laughs> um, all the unoptimized crap in Tarkov, and there, there's just nothing that's unoptimized in this game. And this is a first time developer for Unreal Engine 4. These guys have never made a PC game before in their life. So they've been mobile game makers. And I play all of their mobile games because they're damn good at it too. <clears throat> so when I heard they were making this PC, um, I signed up immediately. They literally sent me the email at midnight on the sign up, and I signed up at 12.01. So, I mean, I was on it. I was so happy and so ready for this game. I could not wait. So 
so I'm really happy it's here. I'm hoping that you guys are happy it's here. I wouldn't listen to all the hoopla that's out there with all the people that are talking. I know there's tons of people out there talking. How many of these people really, really know what's going on? How many of these guys really know how to get into code, dive into code, and aren't just streamers, you know, talking? I mean, really, truly, because coding is a mystery, mysterious beast. Just because you can understand one or two little lines doesn't mean you understand the whole code. It makes no sense. Anyways, I kind of got off track again and went back to the coding there. Um, as you guys just saw that sniping right there, I was I laid down to see how it felt because that's what I like to do. General Tark, I'll lay down snipe, and actually it worked out really well. It felt really smooth, and I actually hear a bunch of gunshots right to my right inside of this outpost right here. And I actually sit here for a little while and I kind of just snipe them because they're just going nuts in there with full autos. So we're just, we just wait these guys out, see what they're going to do, and we're just going to chill for just a second. And then there's the first guy already. It didn't even take that long because they're in there fighting uh, NPCs. And then I also think there's players that are fighting other players. So there's people running all over the place trying to get to cover and trying to run away. <clears throat> and I just think that it this opportunity that I had was perfect to get get some uh, sniping in and some practice. There's a sniper in the woods, son. What's this guy doing? What are you doing? All in all guys, I hope that you guys just try to form your own opinions about the game itself. You try not to listen to other people, including me if you really don't want to. Honestly, I don't I don't mean to try to make you have an opinion in one way or another. That's not what I try to do at all. Um, I just try to play games, enjoy games, and that's all I try to do. Um, now, obviously everybody has an opinion on the game doesn't mean that my opinion is better than yours or, or is the best opinion or the more accurate opinion even. I could have different information than you have, etc. So I just say take everything with a grain of salt, guys. Go play the game yourself. Go check out the game yourself. If you haven't got yourself a beta key, you have to go check out the um, website arenabreakoutinfinity.com backslash uh, twitch, twitch and then I think it's backslash en for USA and I'll pop up the link real quick as well Anyways guys, I think that we should just talk about the few negatives that the game does have I think the few negatives was is that I did kind of uh, mention it earlier I feel like the animations could use a little bit of work and that's just becoming from a Tarkov player who's played 4,500 hours in Tarkov and really enjoys the animations and how fluid they are Doesn't mean that that makes this game any less fun because I definitely enjoy it just some of the animations like uh, the people dying and things like that could be fixed and that could come with time you know i mean tarkov's had eight years of development and a lot of money to put in and it definitely didn't look like that in the beginning we can tell you that much so one of the only negative things that i would say that i've noticed is that there is an fps dip every once in a while i would say that i think i've put in 40 raids in the first few days i got a really good four hour play test on the first night as well and, and had it one time on the first night. It's a one second dip where your FPS dips and then it comes right back. I'm 100% sure they just came out with the fix for that today. I have not even been able to play to even test the fix yet. So I don't even think that that's even really truly a problem anymore. But that was the only really downsides that I saw to the whole game. Like weird animations and the fact that we had an FPS drop. You fix that stuff, then it, it, it's, it's great. Um, now, there is a talk about like the containers kind of being a little weird, and I understand that because everybody's used to tark off buying the EOD edition, having that giant container to put stuff in your butt all day long. Well, this game doesn't really have that container that they give you for like buying a specific edition. It's actually going to be um, a subscription based, if I'm correct. You buy it for like 14 days or something like that. I don't think it's that much money even on the mobile version so i don't know what they're going to do pc wise they haven't put out anything in this play test to let you know what it's going to be at all in fact they gave you the container for the play test to kind of make you let you know what it feels like to have one but once it goes to the live game there is not going to be a container as far as i know and can read on their website so uh, it's something that you're going to have to pay for 
and I just don't know what the pricing is going to be and how that's going to work just yet. Hopefully it's not too super pay to win as people are thinking. I don't think it's really going to be that pay to win to have four slots versus me not having four slots. That's not really that much really. Anyways, guys, I think that's enough rambling for me. I've really enjoyed the time that I've got to play it. I'm really going to enjoy the time that I got left to play. I'm going to play as much as I possibly can while the playtest is here. I hope if you guys are in the playtest, you absolutely try to play as much as you can as well because it's absolutely fun and worth it. Um, anyways, guys, I think that's it for now, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys uh, follow, like, subscribe, wherever you guys are watching the uh, content just like this, and we will see you guys on the next one.